Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we're going to be playing some combo in Historic. We're going to be playing some Helioke, Oak, Rosy Oak, uh, Infinite Squirrels combo thanks to the Lord of the Rings set. We got another alternative win con in Infinite Combo with Rosy Cotton of the South Lane. So with Rosy, when it enters the battlefield, it creates a food token. Whenever you create a token, you put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Uh, you put it on the Scurry Oak, which then creates a token, which then puts a counter. So you can basically make infinite squirrels, infinitely large Scurry Oaks. Pair that with anything that gains you life. You can gain infinite life. So a uh, Luminarch Veteran, Soul Ward, and a Prosperous Innkeeper. You also have the ability to do the same kind of combo with Heliod, uh, Scurry Oak, and any life gain enabler as well. So this is a combo deck. We do have to click a lot. Uh, so apologies in advance, Some of the, sometimes players concede, other times they get salty and make you click through the combo. Uh, we have a backup win condition of Voice of the Blessed, as well as Trellisara, just kind of fair game. Trellisara can also help us scry into the combo. And then uh, we can dig for the combo with either Inquisitor Captain finding stuff or the collected companies. So with our current build, I'm doing like no interaction. We are going straight combo. I'm 5-0 and o so far. Uh, with this particular version of the deck, uh, but we'll give it some goes. I was playing towards like the end of the season, and I think people are just trying stuff, but be interested to see how this plays out. So we'll jump in and play some games. So season reset, I'm pretty much spot in a platinum. I burned any progress I had with mono red ring burns, so let's give this a go. Iliok playing in. Uh, some fun fact that I just found out like five minutes ago, uh, the person who opened the One Ring, uh, the two, like $2 million card, opened it up from my LGS. Uh, so I could have theoretically purchased that box and made $2 million and had a cool YouTube video. Uh, but here we are. Um, so this hand here, we go first. I think we keep it. Obviously would have liked the life gain enabler. Uh, but we have a component of the combo. Jengantha is typically wizards, so I don't want to go too low. The Inquisitor Captain can also help us find a potential combo piece on curve. So usually only one, one, one green for the most part. Oh, colorless. So this could be like some sort of combo deck. Do need to be mindful, they might be playing stuff like Ugin. See red mana here. Have the void come down. They drew the card before the scry. Have the spear. Okay, so we've drawn every scurry oak under the sun. We just need a Rosie now, and we could combo off. So this could enable them to have like sweepers, so that fixes their color. Sometimes these colorless decks will play Extinction Event, but this is likely the Aether Flux combo version. Um, so let's do this. Do we find the Rosie Oak? We do. So, combo time. So this is going to be... Okay. They let, us, they let us go. Turn 4 combo. A little slow, but we did our thing. I feel like opponent was probably going to combo the next turn as well. Uh, with this, the cloud key it reduces the cost of artifacts, so they're usually a storm deck. And um, they play a bunch of cheap spells and kind of get us that way there. So the best kind of approach with this, do not play this deck on mobile. It will be a terrible experience for you. But um, Spacebar kind of auto passes through the trigger and then just keep clicking. In that case, they are just going to go big enough to uh, kill them that turn. So opponent goes first here. His hand's a little bit slower, but I think between Scurry Oak and the Inquisitors, we try it out. So if they have Thoughtseize, they probably take Inquisitor Captain here. Okay, so they take the Helioak. Um, no sense of taking damage just yet. Could have like Fatal Push here. Okay, so we're going heavy on these Inquisitors. Okay, 
gonna see fatal push come down. They do it on my end step so I don't get the Luminarch trigger. Bit annoying, like, but these will help us, but I kind of prefer these Collected Company since we do want two threats. Um, just dump Biseju here. Not the end of the world, but we do need to find some combo pieces, so let's go Inquisitor number one. Let's go Scurry Oak. The nice thing is this without a Revolt trigger. Okay, so they do get the Burden trigger this turn. Okay, so this is another way to hit the combo. Okay, so we got Heliod next turn. I got the Innkeeper. So these decks usually don't play a Sweeper. Okay, so they did hit the Invoke, which is kind of annoying. It's like the only answer to Heliod. Okay, Inquisitor getting us value there. Let's try this again. Um, I think we just go second Scurry Oak here. We do have to be a little mindful, like if they have Shieldred, they gain a bunch of life, but I think we're okay, all things considered. Just sack that. They draw some cards, but we still have them that way there. Cool. So that was just like fair game beep down. The Inquisitors are showing a lot of value there on um, just being able to kind of tutor up some effects. You can say this video is already going much better than the burn deck. Probably play this four or five games. We'll see how long it goes. This is an effective deck. It is a lot of clicks. So that's the only thing. But I think against Rakdos, it's actually fairly decent. There's a lot of resiliency. You're not like super susceptible to individual, like you could be, but you're worse against like a sweeper than you would be necessarily. Um, like they can target some of your stuff, but there's a lot of kind of redundancy. Okay, so we have the combo in hand. So I'm probably going to lead with Heliod first. Soul Warden's a nice pickup. It adds some redundancy here. So if they go Steam Vents, their Grixis deck. So they could have Bowmaster. I'm actually going to do this now. This kind of forces the action out of them. I want to find another land here, ideally. I don't want my Soul Warden to die. Because if they have the, the Horde Master, it's kind of unfortunate. I would have obviously liked to keep the Collected Company on top. I'm wondering if we can actually play Jengantha. 
No, we can't because the voice of the blessed. So unfortunately with like how the devotion is right now, I can't actually take advantage. So I'm going to just lead this out here. We're one off and I do want to hit Trellisara here. So obviously was hoping for it in the other order because the Inquisitor Captain would have been nice. And this they might be scared of Scurry Oak. Okay, that's why you don't play Heartless Act. Go for the throat, they're in much better position. Okay, well we did have Languish there, so decent kind of follow-up. This is likely Grixis Control. I th think we just go the voice, the Soul Ward in here. We'll go Trellisara. Against like hard control, we, we have probably a hard matchup. So I'm doing it in this order, so this triggers and I get another effect. I want another Inquisitor Captain or Collected Company at this point. Actually, we are short there. So I messed that up, should have done it in the other order. Oh, they're tainted packed. So we're going to let them do this. They probably have the game one at this point. So they found their one of languish, which is kind of unfortunate. They're probably not playing too many four mana removal spells. So this deck can either win with tainted pack Lelia because all your cards go into exile. It can do Jace as a way to draw cards. Okay, so they hit one Jace already. So they need a second Tainted Pack and a land. So they might not have it just yet. So Jace was pretty high in their deck. They usually want Jace a little lower. So the only cards they play two of is Jace Wielder of Mystery as well as the Tainted Pact. So they can do this with the trigger on the stack. Okay, so now they got us. That's the type of deck that's going to beat us more often than not. They had 34 cards in library. We needed them to not have one of the four cards in their hand be Tainted Pact. So two Tainted Packs in the top half of the deck is what it is. I didn't miscount the Heliod Devotion, but... In retrospect, obviously it would have been safer to go. That's very annoying. Go Trellisara here. Okay, so this is artifact aggro. So they usually only will play or portable holes and at this point they might be conscientious enough to hit one of my other enablers but this collected company off the top will be nice so they do have ways to animate these into indestructible creatures opting to go with the vault scourge in the air here ah they did hit the second portable hole that's fine We're going to do this now, and we just combo.
Turn four, kill. Easy peasy. And that was through two spells. If you're playing against this deck, you usually want to hit the life gain enablers. Um, if they hit that, then we don't technically combo there. And then our other guys are just dorks. Like they don't do too much in that particular instance. So I think we're like three and one with this so far. Eight and one overall with it. Let's see if we do the, the nine one. So his hand actually doesn't do too much. So I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, his hand's much better. I think just the way the hand's configured, I'm gonna put Scurry Oak away. And I'm probably gonna shock on two to play this out. Okay, there you go, Elf. So now I'm gonna want to find another land here. We want the land for Collected Company. This is probably Mono Green Devotion, I would guesstimate. So here we can just get this Trellisara pretty large. Really want to land here. This Collected Company is quite key for us. Jeez. I do think it's important taking the Kiora off. If they play a creature here, okay, so they're just, they're done. They are done. Alrighty, so that was five games really quick. Uh, this is a very fast deck to play. We're nine and one with it overall. Uh, I just wanted to kind of do a quick demo because this is a deck that's been quite popular in the current, uh, at least in terms of volume. And I don't see many people. It's in a weird spell. It's got like a high win rate, but people aren't really playing it from the untapped data. And there wasn't a definitive list with the new cards. I think this is a very good deck. Um, so we'll leave that with you. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll catch you next time.